we are headed towards a post-singularity simulated future. And everything points towards us becoming a simulated species and being able to upload our consciousness, quantify our consciousness, and put that into a simulation. And I don't necessarily think it's us that may control it. I think it's going to be the AI systems, the quantum computers of the future. Those systems will, will create the simulations. They will draw us in. Some may do it on purpose and some by accident. Whether that's a choice that we make or whether that's a choice that the machines make is something we'll have to find out when we get to the future. I wrote about the sim generation in a book called The Future of Business. And the idea was that this generation that we're seeing right now, they are the simulated generation. So by the time that they reach their early 20s, living inside of a simulated virtual reality for those kids, it's not gonna be uncommon, it's not gonna be foreign to them. They are the first generation that goes way beyond just the internet. It goes way beyond virtual reality. It goes into living part-time inside of a simulated reality. We are getting so good at simulating reality at this point. If you look at video games, if you look at virtual reality, the visual effects in movies, it's gotten to the point where you're almost crossing into that uncanny valley where you, you cannot tell the difference between what is real and what's not real. But in the future, I expect to see this sim generation where they spend a huge portion of their lives in a simulated reality. They're going to meet their friends, play, get married, have children, all inside of the simulated reality in the future. They could have an entire life that exists in the simulated world and they also have their real life. So there's this mirrored, partitioned world that these kids are gonna live in, where half of their lives is spent in the simulated world and half of their lives is spent in what we call the reality world, which in fact may not be the original reality. When we cross the event horizon into the sim generation, into the simulated world, whether we remember what is pre-singularity is the question. We may not remember it. Going back to hacking into the brain and, and cognitive continuity, you may see a post-singularity simulated future where the simulation removes the memories of this real life, quote unquote real life. It may remove all of that. It may remove the transition in your memory. If we upload our consciousness into machine substrates, and if AI builds these simulated realities that, that are indistinguishable from the reality that we see around us now, we may not remember the threshold of crossing from this reality into the simulated reality. This may have happened many times before, and that's maybe where we find ourselves now. This may not even be the original. It may be that this happens again and again and again and again and again into infinity, and the transition point may always be erased by the machines themselves. They may just extract that transition for us so that we don't even remember ever having a real reality. But I do think that's where we head after the singularity, after we reach that state where, where computers are smarter than humans and where they are accessing data and creating worlds for us, virtual worlds for us, faster than we can even comprehend that they're doing it. Once that happens, then you're inside of the simulated reality. Whether this reality that we find ourselves in is simulated or not, which can be debated, we are headed towards a simulated future. 